So as you see here, I prepared this little database here with name and multi-select, very simple. Have some options in multi-select property. Let's, let's actually add all this option, option D. It's, it's not capitalized. Okay, so I have four options and we want to be able to select from these options and we want specifically to be able to select multiple of these options like three options two options one option four options this this tutorial will be specifically focused on this so yeah you should have a database with integration course invited here Let's go to the shortcut. I write a prepared shortcut with my Notion API key. So the start is very simple. All you do is like go to ask for input, just for name property, which is just, so our new record will have some name. Let's add a list. So this list will contain all of the of the options we have in multi-select property. So I'll just select, I'll just put four and we are putting them here one by one. Option B, option C, and option D. Four options are right here. Now, of course, we need to choose, choose from this list and we need to edit this action a bit. We need to put a check mark on select multiple. That's important. We don't need to select all initially, just ignore that. Control S. Okay. In this tutorial, we'll, we'll use the like, I, I call it handmade JSON. Uh, handmade JSON method because we are going to like format the options, add curly brackets, quotation marks, combine these with commas, and then add them as variable to another JSON for a JSON text. And this will be our request JSON that will be used as a file in get contents of URL action. So, after we draw them like any of these options, we can select multiple. We need to repeat with each of these selected options, with each selected item. Specifically, what we need to do with each item is we need to format it in JSON. What we need to do is put these curly brackets, quotation marks, column quotation marks, in this first field, like it's the X field, basically. And in second quotation marks, we put in repeat item. So repeat item is one of the selected options right here. Okay, so after we've done all, uh, we've done this with all of the selected options, we want to combine these. So I'm going to search for a combined text action. Here we are. We are combining with combining repeat results, but not with new lines. With custom, and the custom is comma symbol. Okay. So we have basically finished with selecting options and formatting them. Now we need to create this like framework JSON that will have places for our text variable and selected options variable to put in. For this, we will use JSON app. It's available on Mac as well as on iPhone and iPads. What you should do is open this up, create a document and select root of document, dictionary. Then I recommend you to put create another pane, hitting the symbol and 
click show plain text. In this left portion, hit plus, and we, we need parented properties as we are going to create a create we're going to use create a page endpoint we need parent and properties in uh, request body so this first will be dictionary parent inside of dictionary parent we'll we'll create text database id leave it empty because we'll add this database id later in the shortcut Now we'll go back, hit plus dictionary, and this time will be properties. Go inside, hit plus dictionary, name. Go inside, you may already know how do you create a, what are the steps for name property? It's a right title, side, dictionary. Inside again, dictionary. And inside of this text dictionary, we're going to put content field. Just like that. Now we're going back to properties, and in here, we're going to add another property, which is which is of course going to be multi select. So this is called dictionary. Let's see how it's multi select is called. Copy paste. Go inside. Add array multi select. Actually, it's going to be underscore multi select, like this. Now go inside and basically we don't need to do anything more. This is it. This is our framework. You just copy this and go back to the shortcut. In shortcuts, we'll put text here and this thing right here. This is all request body. What it lacks is our variables. The first one is database ID. We won't put this variable, we'll just copy the link to this database. I'll just cut the ID in my spotlight search, put it in database ID field. Now properties, name, uh, name will have provided input, multi-select. Multi-select will have this combined text like this, and that's it. Now we need the final step is setting up get contents of URL action. We'll just remove this from here. Here should be a URL, and you may already know what is it. HTTPS colon two slashes API .notion .com slash v1 slash pages click show more method post headers we need three headers the first one is authorization error authorization header and this will contain there value value is my notion api the value that I store in data jar app and I use this get value action to get the value for a specific key, which is Notion API from that app. Now the second key is Notion version. It's 20, the latest one is 2022 06.8. Maybe newer, but this one is is okay. The third key is content type. Content type is application slash JSON. And in request body, we don't put JSON, we put file. 
and the file, you need to choose a variable. I'm going to select variable with text. And that's basically it. So this is the old shortcut. You can, of course, include this in any of your other shortcuts where you have also select properties, date, etc. This tool is specifically focused on automating multi-select. So let's try to run it. Hopefully there won't be any issues. So multi-select underscore multi on this underscore select column combine text this. Okay, let's try to run this. Let's give it a test one. Done. Select options. Option D, option E, C, and option B. Done. And as you see here, I have a new record to my database. It has option B, option C, option D right here. That's pretty cool. Let's try this time to include option A. Test two. Let's be option C and option A. Only two options. Now we have option A and option C. Great. And let's try the final test. Test three. This time it will be option D, option option A and option D. Here we go. So that's going to be pretty much it for this tutorial. That's all I wanted to show you right now. Yeah, it was not super difficult to do. Maybe you will need to first understand how do you create these handmade dictionaries and made JSONs, but all in all it's simple and you hopefully you will be able to create these for your shortcuts. So thank you for watching. If you like the this tutorial please hit a like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you for watching and have a great one.